The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The mother of Jesus and his brothers came to him, but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside, and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. The good news of our salvation. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, far from taking his mother for granted, our Lord was simply highlighting, underscoring the deeper reason why the most blessed virgin is a VIP in his heart. Mary most holy is special to our Lord, not just because she is his immaculate mother, but also fundamentally because she is the first to be evangelized and the first evangelizer. Let me explain using the perspective of the Catechism for Filipino Catholics, number 1437. First, Mary is the first to be evangelized. Please consider, in anticipation of the merits of our Lord Jesus Christ, Mary was redeemed from the moment of her conception. In other words, by virtue of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord, the Blessed Virgin was spared from original sin. And as a consequence, she heard, listened to, and contemplated upon the Word of God in the most perfect manner as showcased in the Annunciation of the angel Gabriel and in the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. She was the first to be evangelized. That should be the reason why we consider her the model of faith and the perfect disciple of our Lord. That's the first point. Second point, Mary is the first evangelizer. If we recall the Magnificat of Mary, there we discover that Mary proclaimed joyfully her willing cooperation in the task of her son in bringing about liberation for all peoples. And then, if you remember, in the Gospel of John, chapter 2, verse 5, on sige ingon sa mahal nga birhen, with much conviction, deep faith in the power of her son, she said, do whatever he tells you. Mary was the first evangelizer. On sa eleksyon, makuha na ito, mga kingsuna, nining maong ibanghelyo, karong adlawa. To claim close relation with Jesus we cannot just capitalize on our affiliation with the Roman Catholic Church in which 
the one true church of our Lord Jesus Christ subsists. We need more than that. To belong to the household of God, we need to become first evangelized and after that evangelizers. To become VIPs in the heart of Jesus, we need to be hearers and doers of the word of God. Take note, not or, but and. Hearers and doers of the word of God. A graphic image comes to mind. Mary of Bethany sitting at the feet of Jesus, listening to him most attentively. And Martha preoccupied with the details of hospitality. Indeed, we are called to be hearers and doers of the Word of God. No wonder, my dear friends, a spiritual writer coined this acronym, CIA. All of us are expected to become CIAs. Contemplatives, we hear the Word of God, we keep it in our heart, we pray over it in action contemplatives in action. We put into action, we translate into Christian living the word of God. Mary did that and no wonder she became the model of our faith and the perfect disciple of our Lord. May we become like her.